prepared. Um, yes. Have any idea how long this polemic is going to continue for? Because we do have questions. Well, I think, I, think to, ask. I don't think it's fair, Mr. McKenzie, to describe a witness's uh, answer to my first question as a polemic. I think Ms. McMillan is responding to the question. I think you, you've whether it's corporation tax or you know, any other tax. Yeah. Brief, just to the point, answer, yeah. please. Um, yes. but, but, but costs business the least. With respect, you didn't answer the question I asked you. I asked you, do you support extra powers for this parliament? Well, I think that there whether, we look, whether we support it or not, there will, will, will almost certainly be more powers coming forward. In exactly Just the answer the question. In exactly the I'm answering it. Do you in support exa In exactly the same way that we accepted the we 2000 exactly the same going forward. So you're not prepared to say that's interesting. Um, I, I read your report with great interest, the one that you submitted to the committee, and I noticed that you don't... Um, make any reference at all to any of the growth uh, policies that are suggested in the, the white paper, cutting air passenger duty, a competitive tax regime, immigration policy, um, enhanced uh, childcare. You don't mention any of these uh, areas. Why don't, why don't you mention them and what is your view on the, those policies? Well, let, let, you, you mentioned, I think, first air passenger duty, I mean certainty, ab about these issues there. Okay, and um, I also noticed in the report that you mentioned that um, Scotland's farmers do very well under, UK, under the UK uh, scenario, and yet it's a fact, and it's not a matter of any speculation at all, it's a fact that under the recent CAP review, Scotland's farmers re received the lowest payments in Europe. Surely, has that been a drafting error or something that you've just, you, you don't understand farming or maybe you could explain that? Yeah, um, look, you know, um, the large member state of the UK, and that's an opinion. Well, I'm sure Scotland's farmers would be astonished, Mr McMillan, to hear you express those views. Well, but that's, 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 that's good of you to actually know that as a fact. Uh, question now for Mr Boland, and my final question. Um, that as I uh, um, interact with businesses across the Highlands and Islands, um, one, of the, one of the big concerns that they have is the, the question of um, disproportionate well, like deliveries. But at the same time looks after that. Sorry. Respect with respect. The question was because you and I both know this is a matter for UK regulation. You quite properly say the Scottish Government has used the full extent of its powers, which is to suggest a code of practice. The question was, do you feel the UK Government have done enough to regulate those uh, um, unfair delivery charges across the Highlands and Islands and other rural parts of Scotland? I think the, yes the, or no will well, we'll suffice. At it now. They're looking at it now, I think. You know, serious effect on those small businesses who currently utilise the USO and its yeah, services yeah, no, I get the point rather you're making. Than, than parcels. Parcels but have never been regulated. Okay. Okay. I get the point you're making. I, I would just ask you then a, just a, a brief further question. Are you quite complacent then about the hugely disproportionate delivery charges that both businesses and consumers complain about across the Highlands and Islands? Are you complacent about that? I'm at a loss to see how you could possibly have derived that from what I said. What the, the, rather, what I'm saying to you is or make that, that more difficult will affect the, the, the yeah, You've already made that business. point. Thank right, you. Okay, okay. Right, yes, it's called answering right. your question, yeah, which is what I was trying to do. Not, okay, all right, right, thank you. We need to move on. Um, Richard Baker. Uh, thank you very much for being there.